Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Mania Plus Encore My Butt. What? I'm Drunken Dan. Uh, last time we went through... Wow, what fucking what level was it now? I'm fucking forgetting. It's like all the time is it some shit. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I remember the last episode I got everybody back by the end of it. And this episode I'm going to try and keep everybody. Pray for me. So... Okay, what all has been going on since I last recorded? Um, well, I, I, this, I'm trying to think of what I want to talk about, what I don't want to talk about. Because, you know, try to keep levity in this shit. Um, fuck, I'm trying to think of something stupid. Ah, fuck it. I, um, I, I'm just going to fucking, because it's on my mind. I'm just going to get it out. I'm just going to air it out. That fucking shooting that happened at, uh, that Madden fucking tournament. The reason I want to get it out is because, alright, you've probably already seen things on the news where right away they're trying to blame video games, which is hilarious to me because, aside from no, it's just funny because, like, okay, it wasn't even, like, a violent game, so, like, the gag doesn't even... Or not the gag, their, their stupid talking point doesn't even fucking work. I'm not gonna get too much into, like, what I think needs to be done. Because, uh... Alright. I'm just gonna get out of here, because I d don't want to lose my, uh, fire shield. But... There was a point I remember coming up, and one of the ridiculous number of school shootings we have in my fucking country. Not school shootings, just mass shootings that we have in my country. Um, for all the talk of it being X, Y, or Z, like, what's funny, whenever it's video games, specifically, though, I I'm trying to get word of this because I'm not scripting this shit, I'm just playing a video game. Um, it's funny how, like, we don't have this problem in Japan, you know, another country where there's a lot of video games. And again, too, like, even with that, with the whole, like, talking point, they weren't even playing, like, a violent video game. Madden's less violent than the fucking video game I'm playing. Ah, I don't remember the trick. Ah, I'm not gonna try it. There's, like, a trick where you can get, like, underneath part of the stage in order to... I was watching a speedrun, but I, I kind of want to just air that out where I think that's hilarious that that's what they always say. And, uh, I'm not going to get into my own thoughts too much. I do believe mental health is a problem. That is, you know, something we constantly cut, though. I think it's funny that politicians only really bring it up whenever they talk about gun control, and then they immediately cut funding to mental health programs. I'm just saying, I smell bullshit. Now, I don't... I, I, I've mentioned it in videos before, I do have autism, so, like, if you can sort of count that, I don't know. Depends on what you count. But, uh, hell, I didn't even really get diagnosed. I'm gonna get personal for a second with this. I didn't get diagnosed with it until I had a breakdown in high school. Not high school, middle school, sorry. And they called in a psychiatrist into the school to examine me. I, like, I, like, I had to get, like, I had, like, talk to psychiatrists and therapists. It was... Now, the breakdown wasn't like, you know, I hurt anybody or anything like that. I just had, like, an emotional breakdown where I was just, like, screaming and crying, that kind of crap. If you, like I said, I'm, I'm getting a little personal here while I'm playing fucking Sonic the Hedgehog as a st fucking cartoon squirrel, but this is just thing I need to air out real quick. So, like, that's just to give you an idea, of, like, for any viewers that are watching this from, like, Norway, or the UK, or, um, I doubt there's anybody from any uh, country in Asia, but I know there's at least one person from Norway, and there's a couple from the UK, and I think some from Europe in general, but I just wanted to give you, like, an idea of, like, how shit it really is here with our healthcare system if you wanted to get, like, a more first-hand experience. In case you're wondering, no, I don't really take any medicine for it. Um, I am not medicated. I opted out of it. They wanted to give me fucking Ritalin, and I didn't really want that. 
Um, I mean, there's probably treatment I should get now that I'm older, but I don't really have the the coverage for that. Now, now with my current job or anything like in my current like shit, I don't have the uh, coverage for that. As much as I would love to have the coverage for that. Oh wait, what the fuck was that? Yeah, well, whatever. But you get the idea. But yeah, there definitely needs to actually be some fucking talks about, like... I honestly do think there should be talks about gun control, because I do think that is an issue. Um, uh, I don't think banning all guns is the answer. Um, but, uh... I do feel like the conversation should at least be had, rather than just be shut down. But that, that's that's all I'm gonna talk about. That's, that's as political as I'm gonna get, uh, for today. I just... I, I need to air that out, because it's been on my mind. And if I didn't air it out, it was gonna drive me nuts. So let's stop talking about stupid things and talk about other kinds of stupid things like video games, I guess. I did get Yakuza 2 in the mail. I haven't played it yet, because I'm playing this. In fact, because I, uh, like, it came in the day that I'm recording this. Hey, I'm dating my pieces again. I love doing this. But, um, yeah, I, I wanted to play that after this, because the thing is, this is, I kind of, like, told myself if I didn't play or record this, I wasn't playing Yakuza, so this is kind of, like, the thing I'm dangling in front of my face to make me, oh, no, shit, shit, I did not want that shield. Fuck. Well, shit. I'm gonna take a drink of water, I'm actually kind of, I work outside, too, so. I, uh, I'm still a little, um, not the most hydrated. I guess that's the way I'll put it. Oh, I still have my, um, shield upgrade thingy. I don't want to hit that thing, because if I do, he's going to burn all that shit down there, and it's going to make my life hell. But, um, speaking of hell... By the way, this is so much easier to look at than the red, uh, screen for, uh... Now, if I get this, I believe I'm invulnerable to the, uh, effects. I believe. I could be wrong. We're gonna find out. Oh, nope, I'm not invulnerable. For some reason, I thought I'd be invulnerable. I mean, it makes sense, because, like, the smoke will be choking you the fuck out. I'm trying to think they had a mechanic like this in any of the old Sonic games. I don't think they did. I mean, Sonic Mania is, like, one of the most mechanically, uh... Oh, what's the word? It has, a, it has a lot going for it. It's a lot more complex, I guess. Okay. Um, I was watching him because I was trying to figure out when I wanted to go there, and I was thinking if I wanted to try and get that box to switch characters. Because I would like to get Mighty out. Uh, that's not good. Eh, it's fine. It's fine! It's not fine. It's not fine. No, nothing is fine anymore. Okay, it's fine again. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think about like any other kind of dumb shit that's been going on. Um, I'm gonna mention it in the Fallout video, and uh, so I don't know what RPG I'm playing after fall this week. Wait, no, this this video comes out the following. Okay, yeah, it would be this week. Sorry, I get myself confused on weeks, so I don't know what RPG I'm doing. Um, if you go on my Twitter... Oh, wait, no, the, the poll will be done by now. There's no point in me saying, like, Hey! If you wanna... If you wanna vote on my next RPG! But, uh, I can tell you at least which... One it might be! Either Tales of Berseria, Exilia, or Trials of the Sky, which will be partially blind. Because I haven't finished that game on my own yet. I'm, uh... I, I would be surprised if I wasn't even halfway done the game. Well, that sucked. That's what I get for not being careful. But, uh, it would let me finish the game, which would be nice. Because, uh, I, I get... Sometimes it's hard for me to sit down for an RPG if, um, you know, I got things going on. Or when other games come out, or shit like that. But Trials of the Sky is really good. It's like a strategy RPG sort of thingy. And, uh, the main character, I love her. I love Estelle. She's great. Why can't more protagonists be like her and be great? I love RPG protagonists. I just kind of find boring, personally. Like the, uh, like when they're given a voice, I mean, not the, uh, this is your character avatar, if you will. Like the Persona protagonists are just like, 
This is your this is your uh, avatar. You're supposed to just insert yourself into this. Side note, I want to say probably the most boring avatar from Persona is probably the one from 4. I don't know. For some reason, I just find him those boring. Well, I mean, many of them are having a conversation about it, and I don't know if either of us are right. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna bother with that. Oh, fuck. But, uh, there weren't a lot of, like, I think, like, all the options in 4, at least it was going to Medi again. I haven't played 4 in a long time. One day I should probably replay it. I didn't pick that as an RPG because it'd be so fucking long. Whenever I can actually start streaming, I would like to try and do Persona 4 or 5. Either one. 4 would be, I mean, 5 would be a plus, uh, not plus, a new game plus run. Why did I say, I, I mean, that would still work. I don't know why. I'm, whatever, it doesn't matter. It would be a new game plus run because, um, I don't know. I still have the data. I don't think I have my 4 data anymore. That would just warp everybody. Uh, YOLO. I like how I got to keep Mighty. Mighty's the one I would like to get rid of, and he's the one I get to keep. What is this bowl of shit? I, I, I'm, I, I'm actively slightly annoyed. Okay. I'm gonna try and ignore his attacks and just attack him. All right. Uh, what are you doing? And there goes Mighty again. Were these blue in the um, the regular version? Wow, I'm doing a lot of damage. Oh, Mighty fucked me up. Nope. God, I I went through this level quick. I'll probably do the next level too. As long as Mighty doesn't fuck me up again, we should have this. Yep. Actually, if Mighty didn't hit him that one time, I probably would have killed him in one run. Good job, Mighty, you fucking twonk. I don't think there's any other, like, dumb things I want to talk about. Because I'd like to do another level. What, what happened to you, Mighty? You're bugging out. Why are you breaking things? Why are you being a dingus? Oh, wait, I forgot. Yeah, they have transitions for all this shit now. <laughs> it's not just a submarine, it's also a ship. Lava Reef. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool intro. Oh, God, get off the thing. I wonder if it goes all the way... Yeah, it goes all the way down. God, I love that they did those little transitions. God. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, what, um... Dumb things I can talk about. Oh yeah, so one thing that's funny, so Blade Strangers, well, by the time this come, video comes out, I'll have the game, but, um, so here's what's funny about the, the physical version for PS4. The physical version for PS4, at least, like, when I ordered from Amazon, I won't get that until, like, the following week, which is weird. So, like, if I ordered a digital copy, I'd have it, but we've already talked about me and my feeling about digital copies. Um, if you give me a physical option, I will always go for the physical option. But, uh... Oh, uh, 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 shit! No? Fuck. This was my problem. Okay. I can't remember how this thing works. Oh! There we go! There we go, my dream team! Thank God, I got my dream team. Out of sheer... Luck, I guess. Sorry, sorry, Ray. We're, we're just getting this, and we're we're, we're Audi five thousand. Don't worry, you're not gonna get hit by that spike ball again immediately. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's another thing. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. There's another game that got announced. Uh, Streets of Rage four. And uh, actually, I could talk about what I want to do after Sonic Mania. So when Sonic Mania is done, what I want to do is I want to play Streets of Rage. Uh, 1 and 2, at least. Because at 3, I need to beat on my own. Because I didn't own 3 as a kid. But 2 and 1, I did. I'll talk more about my, my history with those games like when I'm actually playing Streets of Rage. Because it feels weird to do that while I'm playing Sonic instead. 
Because, yeah, I was a Sega kid. I, I grew up with the Genesis, so that's where a lot of my memories are. That's where a lot of the games that I grew up with are. And, uh, yeah, I have a lot of memories with Genesis. Like, when I was really little, it was the Genesis. Then when I was a little older, but still kind of young, it was the the PS, uh, PS1, or Uno. Then the PS Double was when I was kind of middle school. Oh. Okay. There goes my fire shield. Ray, you absolute useless fuck. How dare you do this to me. At least I can fly. Oh, fuck. At least... Actually, he's got a long flight time in this game. I think it's longer than Sonic 3. I, I Tell me if I'm wrong, but is Tails' flight in this game longer than it is in the older games? Because it feels longer. But then again, I didn't play Tails like in recording a whole lot. Like, I think actually this game is the most I've played Tails in recording. Because I, I did, uh, what does it say here? I did Sonic 3... I did every Sonic game but Sonic 2 as Sonic. And I guess this and I guess now plus, because I've rarely been Sonic in this playthrough. Like, yeah, I, I've only been Sonic like a, a handful of times. Where I've been like... And, and, and Encore, not in uh, regular, Man regular Mania. Regular Mania, I did the Sonic and Tails uh, combination. Because that's just what I usually play on my when I'm just kind of doing my first run. Yeah, it's vanilla, but it's kind of what I like to do on my first run. Is there anything over here? No. Up, oh, flying time. I could have got hit by spikes. That would have been funny. Oh wait, it's taking me the wrong way. I'm trying to think if there's any other like dumb things I want to talk about. Oh yeah, I've mentioned Streets Rage Four. Oh yeah, I should actually talk about like what I thought of how I looked. Um, it's being done by the same people that did Dragon. Uh, Dragon Boy, or Wonder Boy and Dragons, or what, what, I think it was Wonder Boy and Dragon's Trap, I think it was called. I forget, I forget the name, there were so many Wonder Boy games. But, uh, that game is actually pretty good. Uh, the remake is beautiful, I recommend getting the remake. Um, it is stellar, like, they made the game, like, so they did, like, hand-drawn sprites, and sprites, that's a good way of slang at all. Uh, they did hand-drawn sprites. And it has like orchestral music, and it's just really nice. Uh, you can also be, you can also make it Wonder Boy or Wonder Girl, so you can be a girl if you want. It doesn't change the game in any way, other than now you're a girl, but you're like only a human for like a short period of the intro, and then like at the end of the game, when you when you uh, want to finish the game and play uh, the EXE stuff or just explore around, so you're not really a girl much in it, but you can be a girl if you want. Um, I recommend the girl because she looks cooler. I usually, in games, pick the, the uh, female option. I've always done that, actually, in video games. Like, even when I was little, I usually would pick a female character if I was playing a game. I mean, it's not always the case, but a lot of times I do that. Fallout's actually an exception, except for when I Let's Played it. Um, when I played Fallout New Vegas and even 3 on my own, the first time, I played Dude. That's, like, one of the exceptions I can think about. I won't think off the top of my head, because, like, even, like, I'm playing Dragon Ball Fusions, like, all my work breaks, and, uh, my, uh, character avatar is, uh... Oh, yeah, so you can't do damage to this thing until, like, its armor breaks off. So you gotta kinda... wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait why did I do that? I already know how this boss fight works, and I fucked it up. Okay, come down. Yeah, sorry I'm not too talkative. I'm just... I don't, know what to, I don't know what to talk about. Sometimes it happens. But, uh... But yeah, um... Oh yeah, Street Rage. Oh yeah, Street Rage. I got distracted because I was thinking about the boss fight. Um... I'll just take that. It'll go to my total score rather than what I'd want it, but... Eh. But yeah, Street Rage 4 looks really good. It's done by the same team that did that. It looks like they're doing kind of hand-drawn sprites again. Where they are, um... Uh, like, it's kind of like a comic booky sort of style. Uh, they redesigned Axel and 
Blaze a little bit. Uh, Axel now has, like, a beard and a jacket. And Blaze just kind of got a jacket, and otherwise she looks the same as she did in, like, Streets of Rage 2 and 1. I like how I did that in reverse. The reason I say 2 and 1 is because in 3, she has, like, a white costume for some reason, rather than her red. I, I don't know why. She just does. And she also does this... Okay. I I'll, I'll talk about this that run animation in a second that I, I can't stand. But, um... She has, um... But yeah, she looks pretty much identical. They, the game looks really good. It's really early on. We don't even know what system it's on yet. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I Streets of Rage was a, a game I loved as a kid. And like I said, I'm not going to go too much into Streets of Rage because I'm going to do those games after Sonic Mania is done. I might do three, but I got to play that on my own first because in order to get the true ending, you got to play on the hardest difficulty. If I believe... Or is it normal? I'll have to look that up. I know Street Rage 3 is actually pretty hard. And I do have somewhere on my computer, there was a fan game of Streets of Rage where it was kind of like Streets of Rage Ultimate Deluxe. It was basically the Sonic Mania for Streets of Rage. And uh, it's really good. Getting a hold of it might be hard nowadays because I remember at one point it was season... Oh, God, I'm... There we go. Oh, right into the fire. That was great. I remember at one point it was Season Desisted. This was like years ago. This was before they were making Street Rage 4. Also, my god, with all these old, like, Sega games coming back... What year is it? <laughs> like, you know, it's like that fucking, like, image. Like, what year is this? Like, Jesus Christ. We're getting a lot of, like, old games just coming back from the fucking dustbin of the past. It's awesome, though. I love it. Side note, I'm going to probably make jokes about this when I record uh, Yakuza 0 this week. Man, I've been playing a lot of fucking Yakuza. Jesus Christ. But, uh, man, seeing people that didn't play Shenmue before, playing it and being like, how is this game a masterpiece? I'm just like, yes, I've been saying it for years. Because Seriously, Shenmue is not a good game. Now, I will say, like, I do know Shenmue helped inspire games like Yakuza, which is an excellent game, but, um, it's still not good. And, uh, I'll, I can, I'll go briefly over it, and hopefully I don't repeat myself when I'm talking to Train Man, because I might get into a rut uh, when I'm talking to Train Man, because sometimes that happens. But, so, the reason why I always said Shenmue was not a good game, and even back in the day, because I played it back in the day, um, Shenmue does not have a good story. People would say it has a good story, it's not. Shenmue is a basic revenge plot, where you're trying to figure out where your father's murderer went. That's pretty much it. And Ryo, the main character, doesn't have a personality. He's very wooden. He just... He's just nothing. He's nothing. He's not a character. He, he, he might as well be a, ro a fucking robot. He's more robotic than a robot character. Like, he, oh, fucking hell. He's more robotic than, like, fucking Lightning from fucking Final Fantasy XIII. And that's saying something, because I constantly make fun of her for being fucking wooden. Or metallic, or whatever you want to go with that I... That's always an issue I've had with Lightning. Well, there's a lot of issues I have with Final Fantasy XIII. That's just, that's just getting me started, but... That's not what I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about Shenmue. Uh, so the story's not good. The characters are flat. They, they might as well not exist. What the hell's breaking? But yeah, Shenmue is just bland. Character-wise and story-wise, it's just... It's it's just a mediocre revenge plot that they stretched out for, like... So, so the creator wanted to make it... I, I don't know how many games it's going to actually be in the end, but he wanted it to be 15 games. And, uh, he, um, okay, let, let me, I'm going to summarize Shenmue 2, 1 for you. Actually, I can summarize Shenmue 2 if you want me to be a dick. Uh, Shenmue 1, uh, dad dies. Ryo wants revenge. So he walks around this town for, like, several days asking where people are. And then he finally, after a while, learns the guy's from fucking China. So he goes, so he goes in a boat. To go to China. 
Oh, you're expecting me to continue with the story. You, f you fucking silly slut. That's the end of the first game's story. That's all that happened. The closest thing to a subplot there was, was his girlfriend, or, well, childhood friend, I can't even really say girlfriend, was moving to the States to go to school. There's your story. There's your story. I did it. That game takes... Oh my god, I can't jump. Okay. That was bugged. That was bugged and glitched. We're just gonna... At least the game was merciful and stopped spawning them. That was weird, though. They usually don't stop spawning. So, that's the first game. And that's it! A l also, a lot of waiting. A lot of waiting. Fuck loads of waiting. Waiting forever. You'll be waiting forever. In-game. There is no wait button. There is one in two, to be fair. And by the way, if you go, oh, well, it's an old game. Fallout fucking 1 predates it and has a wait button. And also has real time. So please, stop giving Shenmue credit for having real time transitions. If you want me to be a dingus, I could say Castlevania predates it with that. But that's just me being pedantic. This is even not, I gotta take a fucking drink. My throat's getting fucking dry again. I'm sorry. As I'm ranting about Shenmue. So, um... Oh, wait, I already said Shenmue sucks, I think. Did I? No, I also have a Fire Emblem Echoes when I was recording and said it sucks. So, Shenmue does just kind of, like, meanders along. And if people go, oh, oh, there's plenty to do, you can play Space Harrier. Hey, hey, if I want to play a good game, I'll just play a good game. Just saying. Just saying. I'll just play a good game. Fuck it. I don't need to play your fucking shitty game. I'll just play a fucking good game. Can I attack him? Are we just gonna watch him do this? I guess we are. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, we get to see this boss fight. So this boss fight was originally Knuckles only. So this is fun because we get to play it with other characters. Though sadly we missed the cutscene where, um... What was it Knuckles remembers what happens last time he jumped where he got electrocuted and he's like aha no no I thought things I have a brain sometimes I like that he gets stunned oh there we go he's beaten but uh yes yeah, so that's the entirety of Shenmue 1 Shenmue 2 is the same thing except for in a Chinese village and you get to walk a little bit oh you, you meet a new girl who also has no personality also, the, 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 the subplot with his childhood friend moving away, and the reason I was, like, poking fun at it was... He doesn't really react to it. He's just like, oh, I see. He says, I see so much, if you made a drinking game out of it, you would die. But yeah, so that's me just kind of quickly going over my beast of Shenmue. And why I'm kind of happy that what I predicted would happen, where people would be like, this game isn't very good. Kind of happened, except for Shenmue fans are fucking, like, foaming at the mouth that this is happening. And uh, that'll do it for today with Sonic Mania. What's funny is I'm actually caught up to my single-player playthrough that I haven't really done a touch in a while. So I'm going to beat this on here before I even beat it on my single-player. So guys, I hope you're enjoying Sonic Mania. And sorry it was a little bit slow for me to pick up something to talk about. But uh, I just kind of had a eh brain day, I guess. And uh, hope to see you next week. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.